Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for September the 21st. Today in 1578, Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, married Lettuce Knowles. Ever since the death of his wife, Amy Robsart, under suspicious circumstances a decade and a half earlier, Dudley had been trying to convince Queen Elizabeth to marry him. He even staged the two-week-long series of pageants and parties at Kenilworth in 1575 to try one last time to convince her. And although they were likely deeply in love with each other, she never did marry him. Now, Lettuce likely started her involvement with Dudley after her husband went to Ireland in 1573. Lettuce was a grandniece of Anne Boleyn and had been close to Queen Elizabeth since she was a child. She had married Walter Devereux, Viscount Hereford, when she was 17, and after he went to Ireland, there was scandalous talk of her and Robert Dudley. Then her husband died in Ireland of dysentery in 1576, and in 1578, she and Robert Dudley married in a private ceremony. When the Queen found out, she was furious, and she banished Lettuce from court forever, and she called her a she-wolf. She never forgave Lettuce for taking what she was unable to. Still, the marriage was a happy one. They had one child who died at the age of three, and in 1589, six months after Dudley's death, she unexpectedly married a Sir Christopher Blunt, who was much younger and had been in her household. Now, he was a Catholic secret agent and had been involved in the Essex Rebellion and wound up beheaded in the process in 1601. Lettuce just kept on going, though. She walked a mile a day until she was 90, and she died in her chair on Christmas Day in 1634, age 91. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.